hi guys welcome back to another video this is the video where i will share the scl interview questions and this is very helpful for the people who are applying more than three years of experience four years five years six years so uh, in this video i will share some of the interview questions which are asked in actual scl interview and uh, the questions will be on microservices the question will be on java 8 uh, there is a spring boot and spring questions as well there will be programming question as well so make sure you watch this video till the very end because if you prepare for these questions your interview you will see that you, you can clear any interview so uh, make sure you take a piece of paper and uh, no, open notepad and write down all the questions as well all right like if you like this type of content please hit the like button and give me some feedback on the comment section as well so uh, let me just start uh, reading the questions one by one our first question is everything you deploy in IP the everything every time you deploy the IP get changed right then how will you how will your rest template communicate all right so before uh, asking this question interviewer must have asked about the project and about uh, your experience microservices spring boot te the tech stack and everything so if you are working with microservices uh, chances are you can get this type of question so what happens in microservices you deployed multiple microservices these microservices are communicating with each other using rest template there is other method as well which is web client but uh, we, we will talk about rest template just for now so uh, you are talking like your microservices are talking with the rest template now you deployed that and once you like uh, if you read about any tutorial or anything on the youtube or anywhere they use a local host and port number local host because all the services are deployed locally so what happens you deploy it on the uh, production level there like uh, you deploy it and uh, the ip can get changed so so the url you can't hard code the url so what you will do in that scenario so to answer this question you can simply tell that uh, you are using this eureka server eureka client or spring cloud in general so what happens in eureka client and eureka server your one application will be eureka server which you create as a eureka server you can use annotations like at eureka server enable eureka server something like that and all other application will be eureka client application so uh, all other application which are client application will register themselves to eureka server by using the application name so what will happen whenever like uh, 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 one service want to communicating the other service they can use the application name create their own url and then get the like use the method of uh, rest template use the rest template method of rest template like get for object post for object exchange these type of method and then pass the variable url there okay so this is the way then you can explain something about eureka server how you configure the eureka server how you configure the eureka client and everything what is the default port for eureka server <coughs> you can comment down if you know all right so this is the way you can uh, answer this question the next question will be do you have any service request where you store all your services okay so uh, sorry so to to store your services uh, this mean to store your services uh, of course i as i earlier mentioned eureka server and eureka client you can uh, store like mention your services in the eureka server your all other services will register themselves to the eureka server and there from there uh, other application can get uh, what type of application and what is the name of other applications are there The next question is how do you secure your endpoints now security is very important when we talk about uh, when we talk about rest applications okay so there are multiple multiple ways you can secure your uh, endpoints on your rest template i mean uh, rest controllers endpoints okay so like uh, you can use spring security you can use spring security there and uh, the uh, the most like uh, when you configure spring security in your application all your endpoints will be automatically secured 
you will get an authentication page there you have to give username and password so of course you can configure that as well and after configuring that uh, there are multiple there are multiple other ways you can use like uh, using the jwt token or two or 2.0 these things you can use further so this is the way to secure your application and there will be filters will be involved uh, and uh, like whenever you start logging in uh, uh, before your endpoint a filter will be invoked and in that filter you can verify validate and authenticate your uh, username and password and then if it is authenticated then you can proceed you can proceed to that endpoint so this is the way then next question the next question we have is consider i never used java 8 and i am a java 7 developer so how how do you explain the lambda expression to me now what is lambda expression you must have known the lambda expression so uh, lambda is something which is used in java 8 okay and all the uh, some methods of uh, uh, stream api also accepts lambda as an argument but lambda is more than that lambda is uh, a kind of mechanism which provides the functional programming for java you can use functional programming using java so there are multiple benefits of uh, lambda as well so uh, consider reading about lambda in detail because in this video i'm i'm just telling you about the questions and uh, uh, you can write down these questions to crack any interview the next question is can i write lambda expression for any interface The answer is no. No, you can't write lambda expression for any interface. The interface should be functional interface. Now, what is functional interface? Functional interface is an interface which has only single abstract method, which represents some functionality. For example, consumer, producer, predicate, function. These are the functional interfaces which are introduced after Java 8. Of course, there are some interfaces as well, which are by default functional interface, which was available before Java 8, like uh, uh, runnable is there so we don't talk about them we are, we are talking about the interfaces which are introduced after java 8 the functional interfaces so by using those interfaces only you can write lambda expression okay and uh, the next question is uh, a subsequent question which is what is functional interface so as i earlier mentioned what is functional interface it is an interface which is having having any uh, only a single abstract method okay i have given you example as well consumer producer and all okay so the next different uh, next uh, uh, question is what is the difference between interface in java 7 and interfaces in java 8 now if you talk about interfaces there are multiple changes which has been happened after java 8 for example uh, there is functional interfaces which has been introduced the other thing is there is static method and default methods which are available which are non abstract method uh, non abstract means they can have body they can have implementation inside the interface so this should be static and this should be uh, default you have to use default or static keyword with them now what is the uh, difference between default and static method inside java java 8 interfaces so that is another question they can ask okay so i will talk about it i think in this video there is there is some other question as well so i will talk about that in that question while answering that question and the next question we have is why do you think they introduced default and static method in interfaces okay so if i talk about default method default method was introduced so i will uh, give you an example so once you created an interface and then you want to add some functionality which is which is which you don't want to implement in any other implementing classes so you can use default method default method okay and there you can write some logic which and whenever in which whichever class you want to use that implementation that method you can use it and whichever class you want to avoid that you can avoid that but there is another method which is static method 
now static method will do the same thing the main difference is static method uh, like you can't override static method in fact you can't override uh, like you can't override static method you can write your own implementation and another static method in the subclass but uh, uh, you can't literally can't override it in the case of default method you can override it so that's why that is the major difference between default and static method in interfaces all right now next jump to the next question which is can you name any default method in enough predefined existing java interface okay so the interviewer wants to know if any default method which is already exists in uh, like a uh, default method which is which is uh, available in the java so in this question interviewers wants to know that uh, in in existing java libraries is there any default method which has been added so you can give the example of a comparator okay so inside comparator there there has been various uh, default methods which has been added like comparing comparing int uh, comparing double reversed so these are some of the default methods which has been added okay so let's jump to the next question which is can you explain oops in java with real time example and you know about oops concept, concepts like abstraction multi uh, polymorphism inheritance and all so encapsulation also so i know that my audience is smart enough like uh, you must be know the answer of this question so i don't need to explain this uh, next question is have you got any chance working with multi threading so interviewer wants to know that uh, if you know about something about multi threading multi threading is like creation of threads using the threads libraries and uh, 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 using like uh, executor framework thread pools and all so you can answer accordingly so the next question is have you worked on rest api development recently consider i am a consumer and i want to save employee data to the database by using your api so how do you design that api what would be the endpoint and what would be the http methods the status uh, the output input what would be so if you know about rest api and if you worked uh, on rest api then you must answer this question and you can answer this question like uh, you need to create some endpoints some rest endpoints and there you can mention the methods like get post put and patch these type of methods and to save the data you can create a post method to get the data you can create a get method and annotate them with get mapping post mapping or you can use request mapping you can create a class which is a rest controller class or simply controller class then you have to use some other annotations as well and on the top of that you can expose some of the endpoints where you you will hit and uh, on the url you will hit and you will uh, perform some actions so you need to do all these things the other question is how would you validate the payload now what is payload payloads come to uh, come into picture when we talk about jwt tokens so your jwt token which is json web token consists of three things it is header it is payload and it is signature okay so there is a website called jwt token which is which will give you an example of uh, uh, payload what a payload could have all right so this payload uh, jwt contains a payload and payload is a base 64 encoded json object that sits between the two periods in the token we can decode this payload by using uh, some methods okay and after decoding the payload to a json string and use the json and then i will uh, i can use parse method to parse the string into a object now next move to the next question which is uh, consider there are 1000 employees consider there are there is a simple validation at a at value cannot be empty value cannot be null so how will you do that so you need to perform a simple validation so if we talk about 
so if we talk about rest template or rest api rest api so there are some annotations annotations like uh, i will write it here i will write it here at not null or at not empty so these are the annotations you can use while writing any parameter using any parameter so uh, these are the validation annotations of course there are some other annotation as well like not blank as well so you can use those as well okay so this is the answer for this question and uh, let's jump to the next question which is i think a programming question and uh, the programming question is write a program to check a phrase is palindrome or not so first of what is palind palindrome palindrome is something uh, like if you reverse this palindrome it will be the same all right so palindrome is something which uh, if you reverse that number it will be same it if you reverse that string it will be same for example if i like uh, give any example of palindrome which is uh, i think j a k a j something that like this all right so this is a palindrome y you can have any example but the main thing is you have to do this you have to solve this question using o n so what happens there are few things you need to consider so this is uh, like a very simple question which has a very simple steps like uh, you have to take a number or you have to take a phrase and uh, then reverse that and then compare the reverse to actual and if it if it is equal then the number is palindrome and if it is not equal then number is not palindrome so this is the simple solution but you need to consider the time complexity here as well and that is why it is a hard question because of the time complexity so uh, make sure you solve this question as well and uh, make sure you watch this video I, I i hope this video will be helpful for you and uh, please hit the like button if you like this type of content i have another channel as well you can uh, considering subscribing that as well if you speak hindi and uh, i i have like a, a pl platinum membership as well where you can uh, get like uh, many videos many real time interview videos many things over there so considering uh, like uh, uh, become a member of that as well uh, that is a like that is a less than a cost of a pizza or a coffee so this will be very helpful for you and thank you so much for watching this video till the very end and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye